Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. In this video, it's an apology video, please forgive me. Last week, I got one of these packs. I did a review of it. I did my review on my new GoPro camera, which is supposedly 4K. What I didn't realise at the time is, these things are good for action photography. They are total rubbish for things like toy reviews, because they don't have a macro lens, don't really zoom in close on stuff. So that was rubbish. The sound was rubbish. I tried to overlay some video using my phone to give some detail. Anyway, last night I was watching another review of that pack. An awesome pack, by the way, by JCCC, you know that guy. And awesome video. And then my video popped up and I'm like, oh, I watched my one. The sound was rubbish. The picture quality was rubbish. It was just a total write-off. So I'm sorry I even uploaded that. Sorry to the 500 or so people uh, that watched it. Thanks to the people who put a like, even though it was rubbish. So... Another one of these sets arrived and I thought, I could make amends for this. Right, like I said, this is kind of a take two, so this is my second one of these boxes, and actually the first one of these army builders that I've bought two boxes of. Uh, never had the Stormtrooper one available in my area. I think if it was, I would have bought a couple, but that's by the by, VC231 is on pre-order. So, box is cool, and this is a new feature as well. This little image on the side there, so... You can stack it up, stack them up on your bookshelf, I guess, like some Black Series collectors do. And everyone knows this, that's what it looks like when you open the box. And I'm sure you're all well aware now what comes in this packet. Some of you will have them in hand already, which is pretty cool. Um, you get two plain white clones, um, you know, to fill your armies. You get a 501st and you get a 332nd. Now the makeup of this pack was pretty controversial. Um, the plain white clones are alright. Um, definitely the head mold is a massive improvement on the Andor clone, but it is missing a couple of paint apps. But the 332nd and the 501st troopers look absolutely stunning. It would have been really cool if it was all 501st or all 332nd or even just two of those guys in here, because there aren't a lot of plain white clones in the movies. Um, there are in some of the Disney content, but... Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of plain white clones if you're going to try an army build with this pack. Cool. All right. We're going to go back up to the next uh, round. Um, Bam, let's go. Kia ora again. Um, so this one's coming back to the, the clone trooper four pack set, which I said before the helmet is perfect. Um, <laughs> the, this question's about sort of the, the mix of the pack. Um, so it contains two all white clones. Uh, a th 130, 332nd trooper and a 501st and there's not a lot of plain white clones in the movies if you look it's uh, it's even arguable whether they're there in Revenge of the Sith or not so this one was about you know could we get a decent squad of some of those to army build because I think in particular 501st are extremely popular and people want to buy lots and lots and lots of those so yeah, that's, that's great feedback I mean it's that set was one where we we knew we wanted to do a different variety, but it was it was a struggle to try and figure out exactly what that mix would be. We didn't want to not deliver plain troop building clones, but we wanted to get some of those other ones in there. Um, we love hearing that that you guys have a different mix in mind for that and a different balance. So that's that's great info for us to move forward. So yeah, it, keep that sort of feedback coming. Um, we are never going to be perfect at this. I mean, we're we're collectors, we're fans, but we each have our own our own kind of vision on this stuff. And the important thing is that we get you guys what you want, not what we specifically want for ourselves. So, yeah, keep that feedback coming, and and we'll keep tuning things in as we go. All right, and there's the comparison on the left. We've got the new five oh first trooper from the four pack and on the right we've got the the vc80 slash 240 i think it is uh clone trooper on the old skinny mold and you can see straight away the proportions the proportions a new one are just fantastic the helmet proportions better the body proportions better looks like a person wearing armor let's bring them in a little closer so you can see the heads and yeah because he's got a head underneath this guy it makes it disproportionate. It looks quite animated though. And this one definitely looks like a human. And the proportions are just so much better. 
Now, I know there are still people out there who say this, but anyone who tells you that the antenna mold, which is this guy here, is superior is just plain wrong. Sorry. Let's have a look. That helmet was really good for its day, and I like the weathering and stuff like that. But the articula articulation is objectively inferior. And, you know, you can see in the, the shoulders, but also... Look at this helmet. That's proportionally perfect, and the paint job is awesome. Really love that figure. Okay, just comparing the 332nd clones again, and honestly... The one on the left, the one from the 4-pack, just blows the other one out of the water in so many ways. Again, same comparison with the 501st in terms of proportions, everything like that. But this also has the added bonus of that paint on the helmet just looks absolutely clean and crisp and beautiful on the new one. The old one, VC248, when that came out, honestly, I thought that was a cool figure and I really liked it. And it does look a little bit more hand painted, which kind of fits in with the, you know, the story arc of the Clone Wars. But it honestly looks pretty horrible next to this new one. The new one just, as I said, just blows it out of the water. So much superior. I got about 9 or 10 of the VC248, so they're all going in the background. And these guys are going in the foreground next to Ahsoka. And the comparison of the plain whitey. So on the left, again, you've got the figure from the new 4-pack, and on the right, you've got the Andor clone. And because the Andor clone has a head underneath, again, the helmet just looks a bit flared out. That was the only flaw, I think, with this figure. And also because it's Andor, for some reason, it's a little bit more off-white. You can see in terms of the helmet proportion on the left, it looks much better. See it from front on. You can see the visor isn't as distorted. Bring it in even a bit closer. So the Andor clone has better paint deco, so it has a bit more prominent silver on the teeth there of the mouth. These little lines on the side of the helmet there, on the Andor clone on the right, you can see they're slightly more blue, and the four pack they're just black. So I think that's due to it being, you know, a four pack army builder, and so they've saved a little bit of money on the paint deco. But other than that, the new one's very superior. There's our 332nd. The 501st, you can see it's a different blue. It still fits in nicely. Like I said, I'm starting to get a few too many plain white clones. So there you go, that's what it looks like if you've got two packs, and you can see the balance there, there's, to me there's too many plain white clones, and if you're going to try an army build with this set, you're going to end up with a heck of a lot of white clones, especially after lots of 501st and 332nd, but overall it's an amazing pack, I'm super happy with it. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching, again I apologise for the first version of this video, I'm middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.